The other half of the 2.03 patch preview was earlier today and we saw all the skins and the new Frontline Atlas's kit. I'm gonna separate Atlas and the skins into two different videos. Most people probably care about Atlas more, so this video will be all about him, then skins next. Let's get right into it. Like I said, Atlas is a Frontline, but he is a lot less bulky than most of them. He only has 3,500 base health, but he does have a health card you can use to bring that number up if you see fit. The reason his health is on the lower side is because he does appear to output a lot more damage than most tanks while still having very solid defense abilities. So first is his weapon, Chrono Cannon. When fired normally, it's like a mix between a burst rifle and a shotgun. If you hit every pellet from one attack, it does a total of 900 damage. However, if you hold the fire button down, you can charge your attack like a Mani or Shaolin. The longer you hold it, the tighter the spread gets. After 1.5 seconds, the attack will become one highly accurate 900 damage railgun attack. Keep in mind that this attack will auto-fire after 1.5 seconds. You can hold it and release it whenever you want. Next is his right-click setback. This is a new CC. You fire a projectile that sends the victim 4 seconds back in time. Their health is reverted to the lowest point in that period. So if an Inara just got mega potioned, hit her with this to undo all of that healing. Also, it takes about 1 second to get put back in time. During that second, you can't do anything, but no one can do anything to you either. It's a new effect called Banish. His first ability, Second Chance, returns you to where you were 5 seconds ago. It'll also restore your health to its highest value in that time period. His next ability is Stasis Field. So for this, you put up a flat field wall. It will slow and render useless any ranged attacks. This field will last for 5 seconds, and no, it's not a barrier, so it's not affected by Wrecker. It has no health value. Now for his ultimate, Exile. Your weapon is given 3 attacks that banish enemies for 4 seconds. Again, while banished, you can't do anything, but no one can do anything to you. This isn't an auto-aim attack or anything, you do have to aim it. Now, I won't lie, I'm not positive on how I feel about this ultimate. Telling somebody they can't play the game for 4 seconds could end up feeling pretty bad. I think my biggest problem with this ultimate is you could use it on somebody, and before your ult runs out, you could use it on them again for a total of 8 seconds. The effect probably shouldn't stack like that, but we'll see how it feels in-game. Now for his talents, the first is Unstable Fisher. Activating Second Chance leaves an Unstable Fisher behind, and it explodes for 900 damage. It didn't appear to have AoE falloff. You do have time to get out of the way though, 3 seconds. It's kinda like leaving behind one broadside. Then there's Temporal Divide. You greatly increase the size of your stasis field, but the cooldown is also increased by 50%. So you get an absolutely massive field, but you're gonna have about a 20 second cooldown on it. Then there's Deja Vu. Setback becomes a lobbed explosion that can rewind multiple enemies. Pretty solid sounding talents for the most part, I'd say. So Atlas is definitely super unique. He has his own kind of CC, and he plays a lot differently than really any other tank. I want to say his skill cap is going to be higher than most of, if not all, of the tanks. But I don't think it's going to be super high or anything. There will definitely be a clear difference between an okay Atlas and a good one, though. His kit gives you a lot of room to be creative in a fight. So yeah, that's it. That's Atlas. Atlas is looking really good. Seeing him is a big tease though, because it will be a while before you can get your hands on him. In case you didn't hear, they are pushing back content to fix the game, and they want 2.03 to be a very smooth release. They're testing the update internally for two weeks. Originally, we were supposed to get the PTS tomorrow, but now we won't for two weeks. And I know that may sound disappointing to some, but getting out a really good and smooth update is big for the game. They want to prove to people that they are taking fixing the game seriously. So I can't wait to see how nice this update turns out. Anyway, next video will be on the skins, like I said, there is a ton of them. There's a new battle pass and a new set of Omega skins to wrap up the futuristic skins before they start putting out other themes, since that is what you guys asked for. But yeah, that's pretty much it guys, I want to thank you all for watching, I very much appreciate it, and I'm gonna see you guys later. bye.